How DSC makes light work of comparability and biosimilarity testing. Biopharmaceutical products are extracted and purified from mammalian cell lines during process development and manufacturing, under conditions where the protein drug remains active and stable for its full shelf life. During downstream process development and manufacturing, there are several steps which can stress the protein. So it's important to monitor it to ensure the process does not affect its structure, function, or stability, or any changes to the process do not adversely affect the protein drug product. The final drug product is packaged in syringes or vials for distribution. Government regulatory agencies, which oversee the biopharmaceutical industry, recommend the drug product is tested for comparability during and after manufacturing ensuring different lots are highly similar in critical quality attributes. To comply, manufacturing sites carry out comparability studies to ensure they're highly similar to each other and the reference protein. Sometimes manufacturing processes may need to be modified, and these changes mustn't be allowed to adversely affect the final drug product and its critical quality attributes, such as protein stability. Thermal stability characterization by differential scanning calorimetry, or DSC, is commonly used for comparability studies of biopharmaceuticals. DSC measures the protein's thermal transition temperature, or TM. For reversibly denatured proteins, the TM is the temperature at which 50% of the protein is native and 50% is denatured. Higher TMs correlate to more stable formulations and process conditions. DSC works by measuring the heat change of protein unfolding during thermal denaturation. DSC is universally considered the gold standard for measuring the TM of proteins in solution. DSC is used for stability comparability studies of large multi-domain proteins, like antibodies with multiple TMs. Beyond the TM. DSC is information rich, especially when compared to other techniques, such as fluorescence. This includes T onset, the temperature where the heat capacity begins to change. The higher the T onset, the higher the stability. T half is width of the DSC peak. The narrower peaks indicate more compact protein structures. DSC also measures enthalpy a measure of the energy needed to break the non-covalent bonds which keep the protein folded. In comparability studies, DSC compares the TM and other DSC parameters for different lots of protein compared to the reference protein. When DSC profiles are identical with an experimental variability, the thermal stability of the samples are highly similar. DSC is also used as a characterization tool in the development of a biosimilar drug. It works by comparing the DSC thermograms of the parental, or innovator drug, with the biosimilar drug. Most approved biosimilars have included DSC in their regulatory submissions. DSC is more reliable than TM measurements from intrinsic or extrinsic fluorescence, which frequently introduce unwanted artifacts or unexpected TM shifts. It's an essential stability assay throughout development, including stability comparability and biosimilarity characterization, which are used to confirm drug comparability results in a more successful drug. Malvern's MicroCal Peak DSC systems use small sample volumes, are easy to operate, can be automated for high throughput of multiple samples, with solutions available for 21 CFR Part 11 compliance. MicroCal DSC is the trusted standard at the forefront of global biomolecule characterization for 40 years. For more information on MicroCal DSC and how it can support your research, please visit malvern.com microcal or contact your regional Malvern sales office.